Hey, what's going on guys? Today I thought I would take you for a shed tour. It's only a three meter by three meter shed, so it won't take very long, but let's have a look at it. So as you can see, it doesn't take up much room out the back. Threw it right up at the back corner. And originally it wasn't going to be a work shed. It was just gonna be for storage. I didn't realize how much work I was gonna be doing. So I would have gone a little bit bigger, but it's still a pretty good size for what I do. So welcome to my shed. This is a work in progress. I built this probably about a year ago, uh, maybe a bit less, maybe about 10 months ago, something like that. And I've been basically upgrading, moving things around, just tinkering here and there, just making it a lot better and um, making it to suit what I'm doing at the time. So originally I wasn't going to be doing all these videos. Um, I wasn't going to be doing reviews. So I didn't need too much uh, room in here. And I also wasn't going to be making so much um, timber work, basically. I do, a, I'm making a lot of tables, uh, side tables, uh, dining room tables, um, all sorts of stuff, really. So I did need to sort of declutter it, get rid of a lot of the old stuff I was hoarding, and turn it more into an actual workshop slash sort of YouTube room, really. I first built the shed. I did put the timber up. So this is just MDF, put onto a couple of studs on the back. And I originally only went halfway and all the rest was shelving. So I had a heap of shelving on the back um, and a lot more gear. And what I was finding, it was just too cluttered. I also couldn't fit the table saw, which is only a new addition. Um, I definitely want to upgrade that to something a little bit better. Um, but at the moment, it's actually doing really well. Um, I've been really enjoying using that. And so only maybe, what, three months ago, I ended up putting more timber on the back for the walls. Then I actually painted it. It was originally just the normal sort of uh, timber color. And so yeah, I got rid of all the shelving and now I've only got one shelf, which I want to get rid of. And I want to build another work cupboard like that, a couple of shelves. Um, I built that quite a while ago, I haven't finished it, still need to put the timber fronts on and a top and handles, all that sort of stuff. But at the moment, that's got a lot of my hand tools in it. So if we then start over here on this wall, um, you would have seen from all my reviews, this is my main backdrop. Um, I want to get that a lot different in the future, but at the moment, that's what it is. These are all the stickers from people on Instagram, a lot of other tradies out there. Also keep my fluke bottle opener. That's a really cool one. It's just magnetic, so it sticks there. And then obviously we have my workbench, which if you haven't seen this, you can see it's on caster wheels, lockable caster wheels. So basically this just moves around to wherever I need it, um, which is great because half the time I will actually move it out here and lock the casters stays there i do that a lot especially when i'm uh, doing a lot of bigger stuff so i can bring it out and when i'm painting so the sun can get onto it and if we look down here i've just got a van vault slider this thing i bought years ago for the van but i don't have the van at the moment so i was trying to figure out what to do with it and it actually became perfectly great for my timber offcuts. So there's a lot of weight in there. These things hold up with heaps of weight. As you can see, it's quite easy to roll still. You can lock it, that way it doesn't come out. But yeah, the Van Vault gear is really good. So if we keep coming around, I've then got a Lincoln compressor. It's just a little 1.8 kilowatt, six liter compressor 
yes, I'm still using pneumatic for my Brad nailer. Um, I'm definitely keen on the Milwaukee pin nailer. I want to get that when it comes out, but I'll also get a, um, a finishing nailer. One of these days in the batteries, because that is just way too loud. Um, it works great, both that and this works absolutely great, but um, yeah, you can't go past a battery operated, probably Milwaukee. And then I've got my Cirque saw, uh, drop saw, sorry. Sitting down there, Diablo blade. That thing's, I don't know how many years old, probably six years old when I bought that. Um, and usually I just throw that up on the table. Keep it down there for when I'm not using it. So if we go over here, just got a little uh, tape measure mount. Usually have my tape measures there. So they sit there nicely. And then I've got the 48 tools battery mounts. If you haven't seen these before, check them out. 48 tools, um, really good. They've got the 12 volt mounts and they fit perfectly. Always ready to go. Clip in nice and secure. And then I have sort of my main tools that I use in here, which is from Perch, if you can see that in the back. Perch Tools, check them out as well. Um, absolutely awesome gear. I think he's actually getting a lot bigger now, making a heap of stuff. Great quality gear, as you can see. And um, so in here, usually I, I do have Milwaukee for most of my tools, but in here, because my Milwaukee gear is in the car, usually utilize the Makita because I don't really need these at work. I throw my jigsaw up on top there. You've obviously got a metal cutoff saw and a circ saw. That just sits up there nicely. And then just the um, orbital sander, as you can see. I have little mounts there. You can get different mounts for different tools. That then just slides back on there. Ready to go. Same thing for that, sits there nicely. Usually they have them underneath, but I actually like it above. That way it gives me a little bit more room down here, which we'll look at then. I have my little fan from Milwaukee. So that does run off the batteries, but it does run off 240 as well. So usually I have that running. When I'm working in here, it gets pretty hot. Um, just charger, usual stuff. Little bits and pieces through on there. All my screwdrivers. Doesn't really sit there that well. My Weehars, Weirers, all that sort of stuff. A couple of punches. My uh, Craig jig, uh, what is it? Pocket hole jig, sorry. Love that thing. Use that heaps. Just used that uh, the other day to make something up for someone. And um, so then you got, we'll get rid of these cables. So then I've just got my drawers. Um, I built this myself. That was the first um, sort of draw system I made. Works pretty good. The top's just uh, random stuff, really. So, but it all all works well. Bits and pieces in there. And then, um, yeah, just more random stuff in the bottom. But works really well. Has a heap of tools in there. I was going to put them up on the wall but it just gets too cluttered and I really do like having them in the drawers. So the idea will be, I'll make another one of these, probably go the whole way across and I'll probably put maybe a couple of timber shells, permanent ones up there, just for my bags. You, you, know, you can see I've got a fair few bags, a couple of vetoes, the Klein, that sort of stuff. I wanna get all the screws. So I've just got all screws in here, nuts and bolts, lockouts, just all sort of random stuff in there. So I want to get that into some pack out gear, maybe on the wall or in the shelves themselves. Not really sure where I want to go yet. Um, as you can see, it's just a lot of bits and pieces. What else have we got? Um, we've got the router, pump, router bits, Milwaukee fish tapes, um, just bits and pieces, all my electrical gear down there. And a few bits and pieces on the side, masks, drill bits. Um, I've got to figure out what I want to do with all 
these. Don't know how I want to mount those. I used to have them on the wall. I'm not really sure, I haven't thought too much about it. Up top there, just got a couple of right angle brackets up there holding those, they're pretty tough with a piece of timber. Obviously all my bits are off cut, bits and pieces. And if we come around here, that's my, I do a lot of filming with that. That's been really good actually. These are really handy, pretty cheap, but handy. So I've got my router jig, circle jig, um, and that I actually write notes on for when I do videos. So if you ever catch me looking up, that's what I'm looking at, my notes. Um, not much else down here other than the table saw. I've got a cooler, which I really want to hook up somehow, make a cool box out of that. Um, so I can have a couple of drinks up here. And that's about it really. Other than that, I've got a couple of lights, especially for the YouTube stuff. That's why I've got that one there. That was just one that was getting thrown out, it was in the tip. So usually they're in offices, but I've just uh, thrown a bit of jack chain on them. Super bright, really light, um, gets the job done. I like it nice and low, um, just so I got a lot of light. You didn't, so if you didn't see it as I came in, got the crazy pave out there, that was my wife's doing. Came out pretty good, looks great. So, looks a little bit better than just the normal concrete. Got a couple of power points, got a power point there, power point there. What I actually did was integrated the um, light switch. Got one of the integrated ones on there. So that works out a lot better. Also one of the other things was the bandsaw. You might've seen that sitting there. As you can see, I made up a little holder for it. I actually used the same um, mounting bracket from the Perch. So Perch has the Milwaukee brackets and I just threw it on a piece of timber so I can pull it off like that. Super easy to make. And you just clip it back on. There you go. Absolutely love that. So really good. So that's the quick run through of my three by three shed. So it's only three meters by three meters, which is very small. A lot of people ask me um, about the shed and how well it is for what I do. I would like to go bigger. Here in Australia, there's a lot of regulations. I would have had to get council approval um, to go over nine meters squared. So we just stayed a little bit less than that, just so we didn't have to do the all those regulations. In hindsight, if I knew I was gonna be doing all this, I would have gone a little bit bigger, like a five by five would be a lot better. But it is what it is, so I'm definitely making it work. There's a lot of plans for the future. Um, and uh, that's where you guys come in. Definitely hit me up with all the ideas you got. Um, I know a lot of you guys watch a lot of other videos, which I probably haven't seen, and I'd love to know your thoughts on um, how I could utilize this space better. Um, are there any sort of shelving ideas that you have or workbench ideas, all that sort of stuff. Definitely hit me up in the comments um, and I'll try to get back to you as well. Also hit that notification bell, uh, hit the like button, it all uh, helps me. Go over to Addicted to Tools on Instagram. Um, I've got a heap of giveaways going. I've always given out free stickers, free stuff, more content, all that, trying to give as much as I can. Um, and that's it, guys. So thanks heaps for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Cheers.